So we know that we can tag photos with places and with faces. I wonder if I wanted to create my own tags or keywords. Let's say all these photos I take of Big Red, I wanted to tag them as Big Red. And when I go to the beach a few weeks from now, I take some more photos, I tag those as Big Red, and I can put those all into a smart album. So it's basically my own tags that I'm using. Let's go and take a look. What I do is I open up the event, and I select the photos that I want. So these are all of Big Red here. Right? And I'm intentionally leaving that out right now. And now what I do is I go down to the bottom. You're going to see this I. This is the info pane. I click on that. And in this pane that opened up, you're going to see keywords. All I have to do is just start typing what I want the keyword to be. So I want these to be tagged as Big Red. So I'm going to put in here Big Red. Let's go and hide the info. So now all those photos are tagged with Big Red. And what I could do now is create a smart album showing all those. So if I go to New, Smart Album, and I say Big Red, and Keyword, now it's going to show those five photos that I tagged. So now if I go back and add some more photos and tag it, as Big Red, it'll add it to that Smart Album, right? Let's go back to Events here. Open that up. Another way of tagging photos is going up to the window here and go Manage My Keywords. And you can see here, when I select the photo, I can actually say, that's Big Red, and it'll tag it as Big Red. If I click on a photo that's already tagged, you're going to see it turns blue. This one is not Big Red, so it disappears the blue disappears. I can go and edit my keywords and this is where it gets really cool. If I wanted to, what I could do is say R in there. Now when I find a photo that has that lighthouse in there, all I have to do is hit the R key and it'll tag it as Big Red. As an example. Now this photo doesn't actually have it, but I'm going to hit the R key and you're going to see it adds Big Red to it. I'm going to hit the R key again, and it's going to take it away. Now it doesn't have Big Red in it. So you can actually do it by the keyboard if you wanted to as well. So there's actually three different ways to tag a photo with keywords. What's cool about the keywords then is you can go and create smart albums and create groupings of these photos that you tagged with these, uh, with these keywords. And that is keywords in iPhoto.